Resident versus non-resident concealed carry licenses. What the heck are we talking about and what do you need to know? Here's a quick guide. So you probably have a concealed carry license or maybe you're thinking about getting one and I hope you are. If you are getting one for the state where you reside, that is what we call a resident concealed carry license. Why? Because you are a resident of the state and you're getting the concealed carry license for that state. But maybe you wanna travel, maybe you want to drive through other places or just fly to a location and you realize, look, you've checked it out on uscca.com forward slash laws, I don't have any kind of reciprocity between my state where I live and I have my resident concealed carry license and where it is that I want to go or maybe where I want to pass through. What's the solution if you want to carry in those locations? Well, the answer may be a non-resident concealed carry license. So what's that? Well, in certain states, you're allowed to get a concealed carry license for that state despite the fact that you're not actually a resident of that place. In other words, I'm a resident of Wisconsin but maybe I wanna carry in certain states where Wisconsin does not have any reciprocity. In other words, those states may not represent Wisconsin's resident license. So the solution is, is I can figure out, again, uscca.com forward slash laws to see the reciprocity map. Where can I go to get a non-resident license that would allow me to carry in that state? What you can do is basically cobble together a handful of non-resident licenses where maybe I as a Wisconsin resident, I'll have a Wisconsin license, but maybe I'll pick up two very popular ones would be a Utah non-resident license and a Florida non-resident license. And perhaps between the combination now of those three licenses, Wisconsin, Utah, and Florida, I can now carry in a vast amount more states than I could if I only had my Wisconsin license. Now, a couple quick points. You're gonna have to apply for those licenses to those states. You cannot just apply into your own state's Department of Justice or whoever it is that processes the applications. Meaning you're gonna have to basically get out there on the interwebs, check out of course uscca.com to get more information about this, to figure out what are the kind of qualifications you're gonna need, what kind of specific classes, like for instance, Utah, there's a specific Utah course that you'll be required to take. And am I gonna meet those? And if not, what hoops am I gonna have to jump through? All right, just understand it's gonna be a different license, a different application process. And also keep in mind that the requirements for renewing that license might be different as well. And if you do go ahead and move, you may be under obligation to update all those different departments of justice or whoever the particular record agency or record keeping agency might be in order to keep those licenses valid. Also understand that of course these reciprocity maps and reciprocity issues, they're constantly changing usually on a slow pace, but sometimes on a quick pace, maybe in response to political administration changes, elections, all that kind of stuff. So you need to be accessing fantastic resources, like again, uscca.com forward slash laws to keep yourself up to date. And of course, always, always, always for the definitive answer, go to the particular state's Department of Justice to learn about what's the exact up to the moment updates and laws about what states they're gonna be recognizing. But you need to pay attention to the fact that sometimes states will bifurcate. They'll draw a distinction between, well, we will recognize the resident license from this state, but we do not recognize, for instance, non-resident licenses, period. There's a couple states like that out there, so you need to pay particularly close attention because maybe if you just go on a map, look, it looks like you're gonna be okay, and you don't notice the fine print of, yeah, this particular state you're interested in going to and carrying in only recognizes resident carry licenses. So what are a few of the best non-resident licenses that you can get? Well, I already mentioned two of them, Utah and Florida. Here are three more for you to check out. Virginia, New Hampshire, and Maine. And hopefully between the combination of those five plus your resident concealed carry license, you'll be able to travel everywhere you want, safe and armed with knowledge against the laws. So thanks for sticking around this long and as a special treat for those of you who have, we have a special giveaway going on right now. It ends really soon. You can actually win something pretty cool that you probably have and you probably want more of. Can't tell you what it is, but it goes in a holster, you may carry it around, and it punches remote holes in paper. Hopefully that's enough clues. Check it out in the description box below to see what you can do to win. My name's Tom Grieve, and we will see you in the next one.